What's up, everybody? This is Ariel. Thanks for hanging with us. We are answering more of your questions. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. Today, we are just talking about guitar. <laughs> First question, are any of your songs in standard tuning? I don't have an extra guitar to retune super low. I write a lot of my songs in, yeah, like baritone tuning sometimes, in open tuning. But the truth is, you can play any of my songs in standard tuning if you just know what the chords are and if you learn what the notes are. You know, yes, they may be written in a certain tuning for effect and the sound and just like that's the range I like to hear music right now especially on guitar when i'm writing but you can play it in any tuning you want if you want i this is not commercial but i do have sheet music and tabs for all my music which you can get on my website so uh, if you don't want to necessarily tune to something else you at least have the notation or if you want to figure out or just be told what the tuning is you can go to it there so that's probably the easiest bet if i wanted to cover a clip of heart by heart, what tuning do you use with the capo? Well, this guitar is in B standard, so I normally capo up to the third fret, you know, which makes it, if we count up, B, C, C sharp, D, we're technically in D standard now, but the song is in F, so we're technically playing in G position, so it sounds like this. So, yeah, you want a capo, third fret if you're in B standard, or if you're in D standard, just play it in G shape. Maybe get a filtery pedal for this sound. I use the H9, and uh, have fun with it. Let's hear your version. This is a great question here. How have you dealt with blocks in practicing? Why don't you start, John? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, I feel like that's something I'm still trying to figure out on some level but i feel like a nice thing is if you can ever like keep track of what you're working on like don't just if you can force yourself to like when you're sitting down like say like i practiced this specific thing for five minutes and like for drums i always think okay i'm playing this groove at like 100 bpm for five minutes and then i'll be like okay yesterday i did that maybe today i'll try 101 um i feel like that's kind of more tangible way to see your progress Hmm. I mean, lately I've been practicing like for things that I have upcoming. So that's always like for me, that's always that gives me something to work on. Um, so, yeah, that's mostly what I've been doing, just working on things specifically that I have coming up, like gigs and stuff like that. I guess I would probably just like move on to something else temporarily. Yeah. Try and work on something else and come back to that at a later time maybe yeah i agree with that sometimes i just stop it's not that not playing is going to make you better but if if i'm feeling stuck or just uh you know like that that there's a wall up there i kind of walk away maybe for a day or two yeah i actually do stop find, playing i find that really helps yeah totally i feel like there is still some like you're still learning when you're not playing even sometimes like there's something going on because i i've yeah. definitely come back to something and been able to do it when i wasn't able to before just from taking time off. So, totally. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I love this question. I'm struggling to find my own sound on guitar, specifically in relation to songwriting. Tips? Well, finding your own sound, I think, is the most important thing as a musician. You know, having your own sound is having your own identity. And the thing is, at least in my experience, we have our own sound right from the very beginning. We just don't realize it like we don't we're always maybe comparing to others and comparing to other things and thinking that we have to sound a certain way to to be considered good or to be considered that and we're always chasing something when really there's only one of you there's only one john there's only one julian and there's one of me and like unapologetically we're just going to be the best us so if you just start tapping into that like for example I would always record every show, every gig, every rehearsal, my practicing. 
And I just became really self-aware of my own things that I do. And maybe they were different than what other people. And a lot of times I think that was a bad thing. And then I eventually got comfortable with it. And I ran in the direction of just like being authentic and being myself. And it's a lot more fun to just fully be yourself. So I think the way to really start doing that is maybe documenting yourself, being aware of it, not being afraid to be different and finding out what your natural tendencies are musically and don't worry about comparing other people. Like, sure, like be aware of other ways. Musical, music is conversation, you know, it's like all slang. So it's different ways of doing and saying things, but the way that you specifically say things without even thinking about it, just like in conversation, that's what you should be really tapping into. How do I practice slide without throwing it across the room in frustration? <laughs> uh, like anything, it's a disappointing answer, but it's just time. You have to stick with it. I don't think you should try to jump or fly before you're like even step standing up, so to speak. Give yourself small little wins, you know? Just try to get a nice sound at first. Just a nice, simple... Maybe work in some vibrato. If you can play horizontally even, that's like 90% of playing slide. So just getting a good sound, playing in tune, having some vibrato, I think just work on those. And maybe just start with taking things you've played a lot already. Maybe it's a lick, maybe it's a melody, you know. Try to play that. And just like make it feel natural and like just like anything when something's new it's going to be really difficult especially slide it's not super intuitive and instinctual you have to like spend time with it and just kind of make it feel like it's an extension of your finger so uh just take time with it make sure you find the right slide that fits you i think that's one thing that most people don't realize find one that fits this one obviously is my signature model but it fits my finger perfectly I like to play on my pinky. Maybe you like to play on a different finger. So do that. Find a slide that fits. Maybe raise your action on the guitar a bit. That will help a lot. And uh, just keep working on it. You'll get there. How did you get comfortable switching between open and standard tuning? I get confused. It is confusing. It's kind of like two different instruments. And long, long time ago, I started to get interested in open tuning. And I just tuned... A guitar of mine to open E and I started taking it on a lot of gigs I was playing uh, for better or for worse there was a lot of crashing and burning but it helped me take all the things I knew in standard tuning and start applying them to open tuning because a lot of the positions in open E you know if this was E and this is A A was still here B was still here it was all very similar and then just the fingerings for scales and chords I sat down and spent time and kind of figured out the basics of how they are formatted and like going to come out and I just started eventually applying it on stage a lot applying it in context and then just working on it at home to a point where you know I think I'm still more comfortable in standard tuning but I can switch between them like they're two different instruments so to speak and I like to write between them they feel like one open tuning feels like piano to me it doesn't feel like this slide guitar tuning only it feels like this more open piano-like sound, whereas standard tuning is very, like, guitar. And I like the contrast between them because they, they do have a different sound and they make you play a little differently between each other. And that was what inspired me the most. So just spend time with it, commit to it. And like I said with Sly, just take things you already know how to play and try to apply it in open tuning. Last question. Any tips for working on dynamics in your playing? Just got ticks for the London show. Thank you. You're referring to London, Ontario. Uh, I think dynamics are the most important thing. And I'd say we put a big focus on dynamics in this band. Um, I feel like a lot of people respond to flashy playing. A lot of people respond to someone singing a note and holding it a long time or screaming or singing really high. And the last thing that people respond to without even really realizing is the peaks and valleys, dynamics. Something gets really loud and then it gets really quiet again and and then it gets loud again. It's like takes you on this ride that you don't even realize as a guitar player just on my own, like with singing and with guitar, 
I'm very aware of sometimes it's better to be loud, sometimes it's better to be quiet, depending on what section of the song is. What do you guys think of for dynamics? Like what comes to mind to try to be on top of that kind of stuff? Uh, one thing that I do like specifically for dynamics is I play a lot. I'm realizing like with my thumb, like I'll palm mute a lot because then you can really control the note decay and, and volume. So I, d I think I do that a lot with us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Like for guitar players, like where you play the guitar, like whether it's here by the bridge. You know, it just has this whole completely different sound to it. Like there's actually more sounds to explore if you think dynamically. Like even playing with fingers, like you were saying. Uh, I think there's a lot more music to be made and a lot of more musically interesting things to say if you think dynamically uh, because you can actually say even a lot less. I think we tend to think that more is more and like you need to play all the notes, you need to play all the rudiments, all this shit to be interesting as a musician. But really, it's it's not what you're playing, it's how you're playing it. And that is so much to do with the dynamics. So, yeah. to say 